Over the course of history, Christians from one generation to the next have had to come to terms with what the Apostle Paul wrote in his letter to the Romans. In nearly every chapter, Paul stresses that it is your faith that puts you in good standing with God. Simply put, you are justified by faith. Most Christians have a pretty good sense of what Paul means when he talks about being justified. To be justified means you're deemed righteous or holy by God. But not all Christians are in agreement when it comes to talking about the two other words in the phrase, by faith. Over the last 2,000 years, there are a few different ways of answering that question. One is to say, faith is a matter of having knowledge of Jesus and His ministry. Others would say, faith isn't justifying unless you've been changed by it, and the change is demonstrated by your love for your neighbor. Simply put, they would say your faith needs to be confirmed or demonstrated by what you do. As Luther became well-versed in the original languages of the Bible, he understood that the word faith is synonymous with trust and belief. And as he focused on Paul's language, we are justified by faith, he realized that the question becomes, faith in what? Or better yet, faith in whom? Luther came to understand that Paul and all of Scripture were saying the same thing. We are justified by faith. Faith in the fact that Jesus forgives your sins. When Jesus gives you this promise, there are no exceptions or needed additions. Your sins are forgiven. In other words, for Luther, your faith is not in your own ability or assessment of your faith, and it is not in the demonstration of your faith. Your faith is in Jesus' promise of forgiveness, simply because He said so. You are justified by faith alone. All of this was said and done so you can remember, a mighty fortress is our God.